the cash rate has come in uh, with a, a 50 basis point, we like to say half a percentage point increase. To 1.35%, that's almost bang in line with expectations. Now the Reserve Bank does remain under a lot of pressure to quell this inflation spike. These are now the most aggressive interest rate hikes we've seen since the early 1990s. The Reserve Bank is in a fast game of catch-up as it tries to slow the pace of inflation, which is expected to reach 7% this year. It's really a story around how extraordinary the last couple of years have been, and now we're trying to unwind all of that. So uh, a challenging time for the RBA, but I think challenging for everyone, really. In his statement, the Reserve Bank governor said global factors account for much of the increase in inflation, but domestic factors are also playing a role, with floods affecting some prices. We understand that this is really challenging news for Australians who are already doing it tough. Our mortgage repayments will now eat up an even bigger part of household budgets which are already stretched. If lenders pass on the rate hike in full, homeowners with a $750,000 mortgage with 25 years left on the loan will see their repayments rise by $205 a month, which means they're paying nearly $500 more than they were before the RBA started increasing rates in May. On savings you get nothing, but on a mortgage you are heavily hit. We've just um, bought a new house in the last couple of months. We'll definitely have to um, think twice about a few things. I do worry about them obviously because it affects the cost of living. Of course the risk of moving too far too fast is overshooting the mark and causing a recession. It's a balancing act to slow down inflation, one that could have serious consequences if the central bank gets it wrong. They don't want to go too hard, slow things down too much um, and, and give the economy a bit of a bumpy landing, if you like, and, and potentially a contraction in GDP. So, yeah, it's a definitely a tightrope for all of the central banks globally. The RBA are no different. At 1,860,000 now. Evidence of the rate hikes is now starting to show. Property prices are falling in some markets. Going sold! It's really only going back to say around that mid-2021, late-2021 pricing. They haven't gone back to the pre-pandemic pricing, which many people are expecting with the cash rate. But with the RBA signalling further rate hikes, house prices are set to keep falling. The central bank's worried Australians will cut back on spending, putting a further dampener on the economy.